put this in context. Investigative reporter Laura Geller is taking a closer look at the laws that govern what a Pentagon officer can and cannot do. And Laura, you spoke with some legal experts and the Department of Defense to get us this information. I did less and right off the bat, we know that officer is now on administrative leave. According to DOD, he is current on his firearms and use of force qualifications and he was allowed to take his service weapon home with him. How he allegedly used it, though, is now the focus. We've gotten our hands on a lot of information from the Tacoma Park Police Department and the Department of Defense about what allegedly happened Wednesday morning. Well, a lot of questions come to mind. Glenn Ivey is a former Prince George's County State's attorney and federal prosecutor. And I know the, the facts aren't all out and they're still investigating. Not only are police investigating, but so is the Department of Defense. We wanted to know what law enforcement authority these Pentagon officers have outside their duties at the Pentagon. DOD sent us these regulations which say their authority while off duty is generally limited to a serious breach of the peace. You know, was somebody armed in the car? Had they, had they been suspected of committing some kind of serious violent act? Um, were, had they posed a serious threat to the officer uh, or others? The threshold for shooting at a moving vehicle, as Tacoma Park Police say this officer did, is similar. He can only do that if he has a reasonable basis to believe that the vehicle poses an imminent threat of death or serious bodily harm. You know, we don't have those facts yet one way or the other, but, you know, if, unless those are there, um, you know, trying to break into a car would typically not be the kind of, uh, of criminal act or, you know, suspected criminal act that would justify the use of deadly force. Authorities haven't released that Pentagon police officer's name just yet. We also reached out to the union that represents these officers. So far, we haven't heard back. Leslie? All right, Laura, thank you.